There are two fundamental drills that we do uh, every other day. Uh, one is called one line, the other one is called two line, okay? Um, the first one, one line, what we like to do is a back pedal. And before we even really get started in this back pedal, let me start with something that's even more crucial. The first part of this thing is the stance and start. Um, as you can see, we got two guys up here um, with pretty good stance. When you have a stance, you generally, all stances, there are three things that a stance should consist of for a defensive back. Um, must have bent knees, staggered feet that are no wider than shoulder width, and a slight lean at the waist with a flat back. And as you can see, we have guys here, two guys here with, with uh, bent knees, okay, staggered stance, and a flat back, okay? Um, what we call a right foot and a left foot stance is based on the guy's front foot. So in this case, this guy right here has a left foot stance, and this guy right here has a right foot stance, okay? When we talk about start now, and we always have everybody come up and just have a good stance and start before we go into this back pedal. And I'll start them off, as opposed to just rolling into it, running out, each guy going one at a time. We'll actually start in a stance and then start. We want to push off our front foot and reach back with our back foot, gaining ground. We do not want to fall step, stepping forward to go backwards, or lifting that back foot up and putting it right back down where, where it started, okay? So the first thing in our one-line drills we'll do is backpedal from the sideline to the hash. And when you have a good stance, good stance and start, your shoulders should stay at the same level and, and you should not have to drop your butt. Your butt should not drop. You should already be in a good stance and start. And quick feet backpedal, okay? Not reaching back. Quick feet skimming the ground. Quick feet. Quick feet, getting out of there, driving out of there. Eyes up, quick feet. Stance and start. Stance and start. Pretty decent job here. Again, this is, this is one line back pedal. The next one that we'll do is a backward weave. And when we backwards weave, okay, the main thing is to keep our shoulders square. It's still a back pedal. Some guys have trouble with this because they'll start to cross their feet over or turn their butt when they're back pedaling uh, on the weave portion of it. We want to still stay square because the receiver is now stemming us, okay, and we want to stay square on that receiver and not get turned too soon. And so we can have a two-way go uh, once he makes his break. So you'll see it here, we'll say hit, back pedal, and we're just gonna weave, okay? We'll do a five yard weave, which this one is, or we'll just do a quick weave over the line. In this case right here, we're doing a five yard weave. Stand square, don't turn your butt, stay square. Still a back pedal, still a back pedal. Nice, good job, good job. Other guy's turning his butt a little bit, the one guy's still staying pretty square. Stay square, do not turn your butt, stay square and back pedal. Stay square and back pedal. Here's a guy that was a converted uh, receiver that's still trying to learn how to do it. Stay square, stay square, stay square. 